there, friends. Welcome back. I'm teacher Brittany with the Home CEO Academy, and I have my clue from earlier this week. Do you all remember what this is called? This is a pinwheel. Exactly. And remember, we used our breath and our mouths to make it move. Should we try it one more time to see if we can get it to move even faster than last time? All right, once more. Inhale and there we go, much better. Let's go ahead and learn more. Let's head over to Lexi for our Hello song. Take it away, Lexi. Hello, friends. Today I'll be singing a song with my adorable cat, Kitty. Hello, friends. Mid Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But it's great to see you. Maybe it's winter, spring, summer, or fall. It's great to see you, no matter what season it is. Bye, see you later. Let's sing the toothbrush song together. If you have your toothbrush handy and you wanna sing along, that would be great. This goes to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And here we go. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush them every day. We put toothpaste upon our brush to help stop tooth decay. Floss, floss, floss your teeth, floss them every day. Using clean string between your teeth keeps the plaque away. Brush, brush, brush your teeth, brush them every day. Happy, healthy teeth you'll have if it's done this way. Great job. Welcome back to our theme board. We have been learning all about me and you and our mouths and how to take care of it and even how we do every things, everyday things like tasting our food. I have some more fun facts and sentences for us today. Let's go on to our first one. It reads, we can make both quiet and loud sounds with our mouths like whispering and shouting. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been a little frightened and you're scared and you would whisper? That's one way that we can use our voice and we use our mouths. And there might be another time when you were outdoors and you were playing and having a great time and you were yelling and shouting and that expressed how you feel. So our mouths and our voice can actually express our internal feelings, which is really neat. Our next sentence reads, our mouths show our emotions. We smile when we're happy and frown when we are sad. So just like our voice that comes out of our mouth can express our emotions and how we're feeling inside, our face can do the same thing. So when we're happy, we naturally put on a smile and we giggle. And when we're sad or mad, our smile kind of turns upside down. So it's hard to, to hide that. If we're sad, our mouths would definitely show it. So not only does our mouth help us eat and we learn how to care for it, and it helps us with things like instruments and blowing bubbles, but it also helps to show our emotions and express that to people. Who would have known there were so many things that our mouth did? We learn something new every day. Let's go over to the desk with teacher Mariah for our wake up warm ups. Wake up warm up. All these mouths are missing their teeth. So we're gonna look at the number next to each mouth and we are going to put in teeth to make it match. Now guys, what's the, what are we gonna use for teeth? Well, we are going to use 
marshmallows. Unfortunately, I didn't have white marshmallows, so we are going to use colorful marshmallows, but it's still all good. So now look at this one. We have the number. What number is this? It's six. So we're going to put in six marshmallows anywhere we want into this mouth. One, two, three, hmm, four, five, six. We have six teeth. This mouth is going to have how many teeth? Three, that is correct. Maybe this is a baby's mouth. And so I'm gonna just put it at the top. Like maybe this baby has these little baby teeth right here at the top and that's it. And what about this guy? It says eight, so we need to do eight teeth. What do you think if we did four on the top and another four on the bottom and see if that equals eight? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And look, we have four teeth on the top and four on the bottom. So this is the activity for today's warm up, and you can work on both of these sheets if you like. And the fun thing is, if you like marshmallows, once you get done, you can ask to see if you can have some of those marshmallows to eat. But just remember, if you do, to brush your teeth after. Great job. Excellent work today with your wake up warm ups. I hope you had fun. Now let's have a seat, cozy up and get ready for story time with teacher Ashley. Today's book is Our Mouths Can Taste by Jody Wheeler Toppin. Take a bite. It is time to eat. You have an apple. Mmm, how does it taste? Do you like apples? I do. In your mouth, you take a bite, then chew. Food and spit mix. Spit helps you taste. She's eating a rib. Look at your tongue. Can you see the bumps? The bumps have taste buds. Now you swallow. Food goes to the throat. Taste buds are there too. Taste buds have cells. They signal your brain. It knows the taste. Yum, yum. The apple is sweet. Fun food. We can taste five flavors. Sweet is one. Salty is one too. We taste sour. We taste bitter. Ick, ick. We taste umami too. Umami is the flavor that you taste in meats, eggs, and cheese. Some foods have a smell. Smell helps you. It lets you taste. Mmm, fresh baked cookies out of the oven do smell good. Do you like fish? Ew, no! Here is cake. Oh yes, your mouth lets you taste. the end. I hope you enjoyed Our Mouths Can Taste by Jody Willer Toppin. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Today, we do not have a directed drawing, but we have two letter coloring pages. Our first one is U is for umbrella. And we have a picture of an umbrella here and an illustration to color like our picture. And then the word umbrella to practice tracing the letters. Our next page is called V is for vulture. Ooh, have you seen a vulture before? 
They have brown and white and a little bit of gray. So your goal is to make your vulture look like this one as best you can. And then we have the word vulture to trace. Next, we have morning and night. It says trace the following lines to clean your mouth. First, you're going to brush your teeth. So with your crayon or marker or colored pencil, you're going to zigzag back and forth on the tooth following the lines so you can clean the tooth. Then you're going to brush your tongue up and down and up and down and up and down. And then you're going to swish with mouthwash back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Just like you would if you were cleaning your mouth. And next we have a page called Popping Bubbles. It says trace the numbers in the bubbles below. So first you're going to use your crayon, trace over the numbers, just like that. And then you're going to pop the bubbles with the numbers that are larger than 10 by drawing an X on them. So after you trace each of the numbers, you'll get your crayon. And if it's bigger than 10, is three bigger than 10? Hmm. No, how about 19, is that bigger than 10? Yes, it comes after 10 if you're counting. So then we would put an X on it, it's bigger than 10. And for all the ones we put an X on, we count them up and we say how many we popped. Right here, you draw, write that number. So we have popping bubbles, morning and night, V is for vulture, and U is for umbrella. I hope you enjoy completing these activities. All right, kids, let's get moving with this week's action cards. Can you whisper like you're at the library? Can you brush your teeth until they are clean? Can you stick out your tongue? Can you smile as big as you can? Great job. I hope you had a great time today. I love learning all about our mouths and what they do for us. But for now, it's time to say so long. So remember to go out and have a great time with your activities and make them all yours. And feel free to send in your work. We love to see what you're doing at home. Now, from Brittany and everyone here at the Home CEO Academy, have a great day and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you could be larger than life, bigger than the world, living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. Hey, you could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. You could have all you ever wanted, shoot the moon and reach for miles. You know you could.